Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Ghillial, in continuation with my lecture series for BTEC first year AKTU Engineering Physics syllabus. Today, I will be briefing you all the numericals of the topic relativity. These numericals have been taken from previous year papers of your exam. Let us begin. First, quickly the formulas. Lorentz transformation equation, x dash is equal to x minus ut upon under root 1 minus v square by c square, where v is velocity of light under observation, c is velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter uh, per second, T is time and X is your position of the coordinate in the inertial frame of reference, X dash in the non-inertial frame. Time T dash is equal to T minus Vx upon C square under root 1 minus V square by C square. Y, Z, Y transformation and Z transformation remain unchanged. Length contraction is equal to L is equal to L naught under root 1 minus V square by C square. Time dilation T is equal to T naught upon under root 1 minus V square by C square. Relativistic addition of velocity Ux dash is equal to Ux minus V upon 1 plus Ux V by C square. Mass in relativistic frame of reference M is equal to M naught upon under root 1 minus V square by C square where M naught is rest mass. One very famous equation giving the relationship between energy and momentum E square is equal to P square C square plus m naught square c to the power of 4. What all other formulas are to be used? C. Length contraction. Let us have a deeper look into the formula. L is equal to L naught into under root 1 minus V square by C square, where L naught is the proper length L, the contracted length, and V, the velocity of the object under observation. C, the velocity of light. If I look more close in the formula, under root 1 minus V square by C square, this value will always be less than 1. And hence, L will always be less than L naught, that is the proper length. This is how I will check my numerical when I solve the answer. That whether my length has come less than proper length or not. And under root 1 minus V square by C square value should be less than 1. Let us begin with the numerical. All these numericals have been asked repeatedly in your AKTU exam. What will be the length of a meter rod appearing to a person traveling parallel to the length of rod at a speed of 0.8 c relative to the rod? Now, let us have a look. They have given v as 0.8 c. That means v you will put in this formula equal to 0.8 c and c is velocity of light it will get cancelled by the denominator of c square here and we have been given length of a meter rod so l naught is equal to one meter putting these numerical values in the expression i get l is 0.6 meter. It means this is less than one meter. Hence, my answer is correct. How fast would a rocket have to go relative to an observer for its length to be contracted to 99% of its length at rest? 
from the length contraction formula i know that l is equal to l not into under root 1 minus v square by c square we have been given that the length will be contracted to 99% of its length hence l is equal to 99% of l not that means l upon l not is 99 upon 100 this is just i am writing it this way because my next step will be squaring both sides of the expression so 99 upon 100 is equal to under root 1 minus v square by c square you square both sides of the equation so this becomes equal to 99 upon 100 Equal square is equal to 1 minus v square by c square. Now I cross multiply v square is equal to 0 0.0199 into c square where c is velocity of light which is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Putting this value I get my value of v. A rocket ship is 50 meter long when it is on its flight its length appears to be 49.5 meter to an observer on the ground. Find the speed of the rocket. L is equal to L naught into under root 1 minus V square by C square. Now I have been given L, I have been given L naught. C is speed of light and I have to find out U of V in this uh, numerical. So I will put my numerical values and I will get the value of V. Uh, this is expression is also, this numerical is also very easy. I will discuss it. Wait, it has been asked in your AKTU exam twice or thrice. Calculate the percentage contraction of a rod moving with a velocity of 0.8 c in a direction at 60 degree to its own length. Now, in this numerical, there is just one trick that instead of the length of the rod lying horizontal, they have done it at an inclination. That means a very small trick of resolution of vectors that the rod instead of lying horizontal like how you had done earlier, this is now lying at an angle of 60 degree. So what will I do? I will resolve my length component as L cos theta along the horizontal plane and L sin theta along the vertical plane. And I will take my resolution accordingly. As x axis, it will be L cos theta and perpendicular will be L sin theta. So I get the components as uh, of L along perpendicular and horizontal as L cos theta and L sin theta. Now we have been given that velocity is 0.8 C. That means I put V here as 0.8 C. I put L cos theta for my proper length and 0.8c upon 0.8c, the c square, c square gets cancelled. I get L naught cos 60 degree under root 1 minus 0.8 square. Solving it numerically, I get 0.3L naught. In perpendicular direction, the apparent length will be L naught sin 60 degree. Sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2. So I get in perpendicular direction root 3 by 2 L naught. Now the length of moving rod from the resolution of vectors is L equal to under root uh, cos square theta component plus sin square theta component. And formula for percentage contraction is L naught minus L upon L naught into 100. Because I know that my length has contracted from its initial value. So it will be less than this. And the formula for percentage contraction is change in length 
upon original length into 100 and I have put my numerical value here and I get the answer. Okay, now this question, same question where they had made the angle 30 degree and length 2 meter had been asked in your recent exam, the very same steps will be followed of L cos theta and L sin theta. And from resolution of vectors, uh, you will take under root cos square theta plus sin square theta in case they ask for the angle. So this is equal to y upon x value if it if it has been asked in my numerical okay next question next question show that the space time interval between two events remains invariant under Lorentz transformation. The space time interval is given by x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c square t square, where c is velocity of light and t is time, which is actually distance. And in relativity, we take velocity of light. So distance is speed into time. Speed here is velocity of light. In order to prove that they remain invariant under Lorentz transformation, what we will do is in this expression, instead of x, we will write from LT transformation equations, x dash is equal to x minus vt upon under root 1 minus v square by c square, y dash equal to y, z dash equal to z, and t dash equal to t minus x v by c square under root 1 minus v square by c square. And putting these values in the expression above, solving it in a very simple manner by squaring and cancelling the terms, we get the same expression as right hand side. So left hand side becomes equal to right hand side. Thank you.